Hey crafters, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different and make an accordion card with Lavinia stamps. Hope you enjoy! So to start this card I used my large jelly plate. This is A5 so about eight and a quarter inches by six inches in size. And I used the Lavinia stamps ink called Paprika which is a beautiful bright red. And I used my brayer to spread this ink all over the gel press. And then I added three colors of brush paints. So I used yellow, sea green, and crimson, which is a beautiful purpley pink. This is one of the Lavinia Stamps techniques. So I just sprinkled these randomly over the jelly plate. And then once I was happy with it, I used a piece of paper, which is also A5, and pushed this onto the gel plate. And you can see the beautiful combination of colors there. Just gorgeous. Then I repeated the same process again with the same colors so that I had two backgrounds. Now each background I'm going to trim so that I have six pieces of paper which are four and a quarter by two and seven eighths in size. So the next thing that I did was I took the six pieces of paper and I lined them up horizontally and used a bit of post-it note tape to adhere them together. And this might seem like a strange thing to do but I wanted to add ink along the bottom so that I had a continuous pattern. And post-it note tape is great because it's temporary and we can remove it later. So then to add ink, I used the VersaFine Claire ink for this. And I started by adding some green oasis along the whole entire bottom of my all six of these panels. And I was going for a springtime theme with this card. So I love this bright green, which reminds me of, of spring and new flowers. It's just a beautiful color. And then I added some of the cheerful color, which is the beautiful yellow color. And I added this on the inside of where the panels join so that I had a nice splash of yellow in there. And it really goes well with the brush paint that we added earlier. It also helps to cover up any areas where you don't have um, any ink color on the background. And then lastly, I added the glamorous color along the top of the whole entire panel. And this is a beautiful bright red, which goes really well with the cheerful yellow. So the next thing that I did was I took some distress paint, and this is in Picket Fence, and I used my brayer to spread it all over the stencil. So I wanted to have the paint on the entire surface of my stencil. This stencil is from Lavinia as well, and it's called White Orbs. And then I took my wet stencil and placed it paint side down onto my background. And I used my brayer to push the paint from the stencil onto my background. And you'll see I've got this beautiful pattern that has appeared on my panel. You can see the before and after here. I repeated this on the entire panel. And then I went back in with the same three ink colors and lightly blended the ink on top. And this way I've got this beautiful orb texture in the back of my panel, which is nice and bright and it reminds me of spring. So then I started to add my Lavinia stamps and I started with the meadow grass and I stamped this in the same green oasis ink that we used on the bottom there. And I stamped this at the beginning and the end and a few times in the middle. It's a great stamp for adding a scene to your card. And then I used the mini seed head and I stamped this along the top half of my card. 
And I thought this would be a great way to create a fun springtime theme on my card. And I was, I came up with the idea that these animals could be watching these seed heads drift across the top of the card. So the first animal I added was Ash, which is the fox, and I put him on the first panel. And for all the animals, as well as the seed heads, I used the Nocturne ink. Then I used Pippin, and I stamped him a few times on the card, because he's just so cute. And then I added in some little butterflies. This stamp is called Mini Flutter. And it's a very beautiful stamp that you can color in and it looks wonderful, especially on springtime cards. Now to balance out the large stamp at the beginning, Ash, I added this stamp called Broadwin, which is a bird, onto the last panel. And I think that looks nice to have a larger stamp at the beginning and the end because I used a lot of smaller stamps in the middle. So the next one I added was the B miniature stamp and I ended up adding four of these. And then I moved on to using some of the mini berry stamp. And for this, I stamped in the same glamorous ink that we used on the top of the panel here. And I just added these randomly on the card so that I had some interesting plants onto my panel. So the next stamp that I added was this tiny little one which is part of the Twisted Vine set. And this is a very versatile stamp that you can use hanging down or as I'm using as grass here. So I used the same Green Oasis ink to stamp this and used it along the bottom of my card. So here's what all the stamps look like. So then I used a few different polychromo pencils to color in the images. And these pencil crayons are wax based, so they work really well with the VersaFine Claire inks. But you could always use Copics or another coloring medium if you prefer. So once I was happy with all the coloring, I could start to assemble my accordion card. So for this, I used three A7 cards and I put them on my craft desk and then used a bit of washi tape to tape them together. And I used washi tape for this because I want this to be permanent. So I didn't use my post-it note, which is better for temporary things. Now once these are taped together, I'm going to use my wet PVA glue and then adhere the panels onto the six different segments of this accordion cart. Now you can always use regular paper and make your own A7 cards. Each of them would be four and a quarter by five and three quarters and you would just score it in the center. So I adhered all of the six panels to my card base here and I covered up the washi tape so that the back of the card is completely blank. And it's a good idea to fold this every now and then just to make sure that it folds. So now that all the panels have been applied onto my accordion card, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter before adding my sentiment. So I wanted my glitter to dry really quickly, so I used a little bit of stickles instead of glue to apply my glitter. And I just put some under the fox and then on the bits of the meadow grass so that it would give it a bit of a shine. And I used one of the Lavinia moon dust colors. This one's a beautiful, it's kind of a brownie green color. And I had put this on the beginning, the first bit of my card and also the last panel as well. 
that has that Broadwin bird stamped on it. Now, of course, you can always use a different way of applying sparkle and shine on your card, but I thought it would be fun to add the glitter on these panels. I also added a little bit of blue glitter onto the middle two areas of the card as well. And I used stickles the same way, but made tiny little dots to look like blue berries in the meadow grass. So once I was happy with my glitter on my card, I made sure it was completely dry before doing the next step, as I didn't want any of this to smudge. So while that's drying, I created a belly band for my card. So I stamped the little stamp pippin and then cut him out. And I used the Versafine Nocturne for this, so it was nice and dark. And then I adhered pippin onto a piece of paper that's two inches wide by eight inches long. So now I'm just going to create a sentiment for the back of the card. So I use this stamp from Hero Arts. It says, have a beautiful birthday. And I stamped this with a VersaFine black onyx. And because this is a pigment ink, I just heat set it with my heat tool just to make sure that it wouldn't smudge when I used my stencil. So then I applied the same white orb stencil on top and very lightly put on a bit of that glamorous ink as well as that green oasis ink, just to give it a little bit of color. And I just wanted to add a little bit of ink so there's still room to write my message for the recipient of the card. So now I'm going to adhere this sentiment onto the back of my accordion card and I just put it behind Broadwin on the far right of the accordion card and just use some wet PVA glue to adhere that. Then I folded up my accordion card so that Ash was on the front and Broadwin was on the back and you can see the other animals, it's just beautiful there. And then I added my belly band on top. So I just put, I wrapped it around like this and then added a little bit of glue to adhere it. And once the glue has set, you have a beautiful belly band for your card, which the recipient can pull off to reveal the accordion card. And the great thing about these cards is that they display really nicely and you can spread them out to see the entire story of the card. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. Click here to watch a playlist I think you might enjoy. Have a crafty day!